Good old Willis Fran. Um, it's, you know, it's a, it's, I, I love the role. I love the role of Amanda, but I love what the writers are doing um, with the show. The writing is so smart and, you know, it's, I've been, I've been a part of, you know, police procedurals, you know, yeah. uh, before. And um, and you know even on network and what I love about um, this show is we are understanding the crimes you know every week through the eyes and perspectives of the principal characters involved. That- uh, but thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm happy to do it. You know, thanks for having me. Nice to meet you. I just left Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do want to talk about that in a little bit. But um, I wanted to ask you this first. Uh, you star in the film Big George Foreman. It will be out in theaters on April 28th. So how would you best describe this film about George Foreman? Uh, well, you know, the the uh, you know, it's it's a boxing film, first and foremost, right. of course. Um, but, uh, it's a boxing film for me, you know, what attracted me to the film was the spiritual story. Um, you know, it's a boxing film, it's a comeback story. Um, and, uh, and it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a deeply spiritual film. Yeah. And you play George Foreman's mother who is very spiritual. Um, how was that experience playing a, just an important figure to George Foreman's life? George Foreman was such a formidable figure Mm -hmm. um, in boxing and sports history. He uh, represented um, power um, and a face of Black manhood Mm -hmm. that was very complex. He was many things in this life. Um, not simply a boxer. Um, he had a deeply painful upbringing, but one that was soulful and spiritual. The journey that he was on, you know, in this life and has been on in this life is... It's it symbolizes, I think, the heart of of the journey of many black men of his era, um, and the the issues and the circumstances that he had to deal with and overcome. Um, many of our black men aren't able to or weren't able in in, in his era to um to overcome in the fashion that he was able, that he was able to um and to reach the heights that um that he was able to um that he was able to in his life mm-hmm. and i had a very um i had an example of that in my in my life um which was my father and when i see what George Foreman was able to accomplish in his life and what my father was not able to accomplish in his life. Um, it sent me on a journey of um, wondering why certain obstacles my father was not able to overcome, but George was. And when I went on that journey, what I uncovered was they had different mothers. Mm-hmm. My father actually didn't grow up with a mom. His mom passed away when he was four years old. And they grew up in very similar circumstances, you know, um, abject poverty, being, you know, teased, you know, um, by, you know, their classmates for that. Um, and also having to face the, you know, their families having to face um the obstacles that the times that the, um, you know, the white supremacist structure that we live in um, Mm -hmm. have put upon them. Um, So at that moment, I realized that the mother was so critical to George's success, um, was 
<clears throat> when I re- re- when I realized it, oh, it's not just a boxing movie. Right. That's when I realized it wasn't just a boxing movie. Um, that for George to become who he who he eventually became and to be successful in the way um, that he did become successful, there was something um, that the mother had a story, and and um, and the mother um, was that that despite all of the hardships um, that they faced as a family, um, she was able to pull something. She had some seeds. She had some a powerful love and a powerful connection to um to something higher something greater than anything on this plane that she was able to give to him and um yeah and so you know i, I just I, I got to see you know that that like that was a journey of discovery you know for me um once um, i was asked to take a meeting on the road of course and because of you playing george foreman's mother you got to work closely with chris davis who plays george foreman in the film and he had to have a major transformation with his body where, you know, I got a chance to talk to him not too long ago where he talked about gaining 50 pounds to look like the older George Mormon. So uh, how impressed were you to see him go through that transformation? I was incredibly pre- impressed. I was incredibly impressed by Chris Davis and, and um, the transformation um, that he went through, um, his commitment and dedication as an actor. Um I, you know, when you're when you're working, you know, um, together, you know, in the town for for two months, you know, you you end up eventually, you know, seeing sort of, you know, what folks' work habits, you know, are. And Chris, Chris, Chris was working twenty four seven when he wasn't yeah. on set. He was working. He was either in, he was in the gym or he was getting worked on. I mean, we were all. Um, we were all um, really impressed by his commitment and his dedication. And I think it shows in the film um, and what one has to put the body through um, to go from being extremely fit I mean, and, and more fit than most people <laughs> oh, yeah. in this lifetime to then mm-hmm. be extremely unfit. Um, you know, that, that was, um, that's just impressive. It's an impressive um, effort. It really has. And, you know, George Mormon is an executive producer on this film. Did you get a chance to meet him? And did he talk about uh, his upbringing with you if you met him before? Yeah, well, George, um, I had a phone conversation with yeah. uh, George before um, I started um, the film. As a matter of fact, a couple. Um, I spoke with um, him um, and his wife. Um, and we did talk a bit about his upbringing and how, and his relationship with his mother in particular. I mean, it's a big life, you know? No. Um, and, um, but, and, and uh, the time, in the time that we had to speak, um, I spoke, uh, we spoke uh, mostly about uh, his relationship with his mom and um, how impactful um, that was in his life and his relationships. Um, you know, some there's a lot of information about just there's a lot of um, family um, story that uh, we just weren't able to get into because it's only yeah. two hours. But yeah, I got a lot of great history um, and really what you know what he had to overcome. Um, just in terms of, you know, how he had to build his own, you know, esteem back up, you know, being a kid who, like I said, grew up impoverished, you know, moved a lot, um, was bigger than everybody in his family. You know, he was sort of different, you know, even within the own family, you know, these were some other things that sort of made him feel, I mean, that seemed to, that impacted, you know, that impacted him and, and contributed to that anger. And as his mom, you know, I could see and I could, you know, under under um, understand that. I, I do okay. want to ask you this uh, before uh, I let you go is, um, along with your work on Big George Foreman, um, you star in the ABC series, Will Trent, I actually, and I'm from Atlanta, I got a, actually got to see the premiere of Will Trent back in December, and I oh. really enjoy the show. Yeah. Um, so um, how's it been working on a show like Will Trent, and what was your reaction when you learned it was renewed for a second season? Oh, wow. It's been really exciting working on Will Trent. Um, it's, you know, it's, a, it's I, I love the role. I love the role of Amanda, but I love what the writers are doing um, with the show. The writing is so smart, and you know, it's, I've been, I've been a part of, you know, police procedurals, you know, yeah. uh, before and, um, and, you know, even on network. And what I love about um, this show is we are, 
understanding the crimes, you know, every week through the eyes and perspectives of the principal characters involved, that, that the principal characters involved are don't just serve the whodunit. Um, we are an integral part of that, um, of each story. You know, we we're all connected in some way. Our perspectives matter um, in the um, solving of the crime and the approach, you know, to, um, um, yeah, that work. So, uh, yeah, I could go on, you know, and yeah. it's nice because it's also, there's a lightheartedness to it, you know, yeah. there are spots and, and it's deeply, and it's, and it has depth. Um, and there are um, critical, you know, there are issues, you know, that are, are critical in times that we live in that are addressed um, in the show as well. So um, I just look forward to um, seeing how uh, the show evolves and how these stories and characters, you know, evolve. Um, and yeah, just really I feel really blessed and fortunate. I mean, everyone is super talented. Um, the actors, uh, the, the writers, you know, the crew. Um, yeah, just yeah. Great job. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I totally. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. I, I and totally. I was excited to hear that we were coming back and I can get to know Atlanta a little bit more. I'm still trying to find my, you know, my, my yeah. little groove in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, great to hear it. Uh, Sonia, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it. Congratulations on Big George Foreman. Congratulations on Will Trent and continued success to you. Thank you so much, Brian. <laughs>